our zombie T-Rex is now ready. So he is going up against the Spinosaurus right here, the Carnotaurus, and some Velociraptors. And just so you know, I have increased the stats just a little bit on this guy, so he will be a bit more powerful. Let's start the battle and see what happens, shall we? Welcome back to Animal Revolt Battle Simulator. Today's first suggestion says, Fudgy, you definitely need to upgrade the Flying Spider. They're both cool and terrifying. So for those of you that missed my last episode in OBS, I actually made an army of flying spiders so let's go ahead add the wings to this guy and then uh, well just upgrade him some more okay here we go so we want to have nice big wings 0.7 there we go i have actually upgraded this spider a little bit as well so he should be a little stronger so i'm not gonna go too crazy with the upgrades because the main thing that i want to actually add is some grappling hooks so that way when he's flying he can grapple onto the enemies down below such as this guy right here pull them up and then just eat them and just completely destroy them. So here we go. I'm now adding the harpoons. I think it might be a good idea for us to add two just like that. And uh, you know what? I, I think we might actually be done. A very simple creation. So here we go. Let's see this in action. Will it work? Oh, he's already grappled him. That's actually quite far away. Looks like he's missed though. All right, come on. Go, go for the grapple. Oh, is it? <laughs> he's dead already. All right, we need more humans. But yeah, look how terrifying he is. Oh, he's got one. Oh, no. He can't pull him up, though. It's like one hit, and they are dead. Okay, now we're surrounded. Good thing I added those spikes on the back there. They're doing a bit of extra protection for the spider. Come on, take flight. <laughs> oh, no. He's getting beaten up with an axe right now. Oh, oh, there we go. Come on, use those grapples. No. Okay, you know what? I might change the design slightly. What if we have one big grapple, and then hopefully that way you should be able to lift them up with a bit more ease. Oh, there we go. Oh, I mean, <laughs> do we? Uh... Oh, okay. I mean, would that work? Let's find yeah. out. Okay, maybe. It's... Yeah. Oh, look at that. That's way more powerful. That is what I'm after. And he's dead. We didn't even need to inject it with any venom or anything like that. We just got to use a grapple and drop him. And then they're dead. That's a much better design. See, having a larger harpoon works better than two smaller ones. Oh, look at that. He's been impaled onto the spikes on the back. Looks like another easy victory. <laughs> Nice. Yeah, there we go. Victory. But how would the flying spider do against a larger unit such as King Kung right here? It's going to be a bit difficult. All right, here comes the grapple. Oh, he's got him in the face. Oh, is he? No, he's too heavy. All right, now I have no idea who's going to win this fight. Oh, no, I think I think King Kung's going to win this one. Wait, wait, nope, wrong. Man, how powerful did I make this guy? <laughs> You're about to witness a flying spider eat a velociraptor. Whoa. Oh, <laughs> impaled on the spikes. Oh, man, I am so glad I added those spikes now. Oh, that poor little fella. And just like that, he's dead. Oh, no. I'm going to call you Flying Death. Proceed. Now we're going to move on to the next suggestion, which says day one of asking Fudgy to make the strongest human in the game. Increase stats to 9,999 and then make him fight against an army of the same unit. So here we have Angry Joe, and he is furious. Okay, but anyway, this is just a normal Angry Joe. Now I need to increase the stats to 9,999. There we go. Also, detection distance will go 200. And just so he stands out a little more, maybe we should increase his size to like 1.0. Just so we can actually see which one is uh, the one with the big stats. Now it's time for Team 2, the army of Angry Joes. Okay, I don't know how large I want to make this army, but <laughs> I guess we'll go pretty crazy since the Angry Joe on Team 1 is max stats. Okay, here we go. So cast your votes right now. Who's going to win? One Angry Joe or the army of Angry Joes? Well, we're about to find out. Here he goes. Look at them all. What, what, what are they doing? What, why are they not going for him? I'm so confused. What are they doing? They're just going to get beat up. They're not even fighting back. They're not even attempting to kill him. What have I done? Have I messed something up here? Man, our Angry Joe is really angry. Look. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him go. He's just one tapping them on the head and they just die instantly. <laughs> and they're not attacking back. Why are they not attacking? Did I actually change a saying? Okay, well. Oh, look at him go. Whoa. <laughs> He's 
going in. He really doesn't care. Just killing them all. And they're all just wandering around, accepting their fate. Bush. <laughs> so good. He's after this guy. Come on, get him. Here we go. Bam. Oh, he missed. Yeah, still killed him, though. So I think it's fair to say that the custom Angry Joe is definitely going to win this fight since they're not fighting back. The only issue is it's going to take quite a while. So I say we end the battle and see what went wrong. Okay, so they're definitely on team two and everything's at... Oh, oh no. I made the detection distance one. They can never detect him. That's why. Ah, oh, okay. Let's go <laughs> for attempt number two. A new army is rising. The army has returned and this time they will actually fight the enemy. Here we go. Oh, look at them go. Oh, look at that. Yes, they're in formation. They sound really weird. Now let's see who's going to win. Oh, my ears are bleeding. Oh my, that's so loud. There is way too many baseball bats being swung right now. Looks like he's getting through them one by one. Yeah, that is just ridiculously loud. <laughs> look at them all. Okay, let's let's check on the health. Uh, Yeah, so it looks like our guy hasn't lost anything. I mean, why would he? He's max stats out. Oh boy, many angry Joes will fall. If anything, it's actually easy easier for him to kill them because they're all just lined up for him before he had to kind of chase them down a little bit. Oh, but wait, hang on a minute. Because there's so many of them, they're actually going to push him potentially out of the map. Oh, they might actually win. The army could defeat the overpowered Angry Joe unless he gets stuck on a tree. Oh, yeah. Sometimes in Animal Revolt Battle Simulator, you know, things do get weird, especially from your guys' suggestions. So uh, yeah, keep them coming. As you can see, though, he is not being pushed out of the map anymore. More. He's heading in this direction, so he should be okay. But they are getting stuck on the tree. And what are these guys doing? They're all stuck as well. <laughs> <laughs> so, little update on the bow. Um, we might have to end it because he's killed so many of them around him that he is now stuck in the middle. So, yeah, that is definitely a victory to our angry Joe. There's not that many left. He's killed a lot of them. So, let's go ahead and end the bow and move on to the next suggestion, which says day four of asking Fudgy to make an explosive bear trap with lasers. And that's from Robot Can of Beans. I, I definitely didn't pick this comment just because of the name and the logo. Nope, definitely not. So anyway, I got my polar bear here. Of course, we're going to try on other animals. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and make this trap. I have no idea what I want to do for it yet. So we need to figure it out. So I think maybe it would be a good idea for us to stick with the static A box. Increase the HP multiplier because we don't really want it to die. And place. Now, this isn't really going to look like a bear trap. <laughs> but I think it's going to work pretty well. So I'm going to add these uh, steel tentacles to the side right here and then if we actually i think i was on the right tab there yeah i go to dynamite and just place some dynamite on the tip right here i, I think it's gonna work and then all we need after that is some lasers boom explosive bear trap very simple design but effective so i'm actually gonna try it without the lasers to begin with and yeah just see if it actually works all right here we go oh oh hang on a minute they've activated They've spoiled the bear. Boom. Oh, this thing is amazing. That works so well. <laughs> it sent the polar bear flying. Oh, no. Now I feel bad. You know, the only downside is really um, the explosive is a one-time thing, of course. So, yeah. But here we go. King Kong versus my bear trap. Oh, here we go. Boom. Send them flying. <laughs> Oh, I love this thing. But as you can see, when the explosion goes off, it seems to do quite a lot of damage to me as well. So biggest challenge yet. We have Goru. I have a feeling that my trap is going to be defeated, but let's find out, shall we? Boom. Oh, is he dead? No, he's still alive. No, keep attacking with the tentacles. Come on. Oh, no. Oh, my box is getting destroyed. No. <laughs> Come on, keep using those tentacles. See, this is why I've got spikes all over it, just to make sure. Oh, no. <gasps> we still did it. We still won. What's my health like? Ooh, took a bit of damage, but we did it. Goru is defeated. Now time for something really weird. We have a great white shark. Boom. Instant death. Now I've spawned in quite a lot of my traps. And we also have a small army of polar bears. Plus an elephant. Just because I felt like adding an elephant. All right, here we go. That's it. They're all ready. Boom. Two for one. Our oh, polar bears are going flying. Okay. Here comes the elephant. Oh, no. Let's go for one that's already set up the explosions. Which means it's all up to the spikes and the tentacles to do all the work. That's eh, fine. And eh, there we go. Easy work for the traps. Now, this suggestion right here sounds really cool. So it says, Dave one of asking Fudgy to make a half T-Rex 
half zombie with fire on its back and six arms. Terrifying. Okay, so I've actually made a start on the T-Rex right here. He's mostly going to be made out of skeletons or bones, really. There's not going to be much flesh there. So let's go to torso. Go to kind of our dinosaurs. And then, yeah, there we go. Yeah, this is going to look really, really cool. Now we need to head over to the heads. Again, carnivore dinosaurs and get the T-Rex skeleton head. Boom, that's cool. And now we have our zombie-ish looking T-Rex. Now, unfortunately, in the limbs, category there's no well, we've got the skeleton arms there but there's no like t-rex skeleton arms which i think is actually fine because it's supposed to be kind of like half zombie i guess so yeah now he's had six <laughs> so i guess it's a mutated zombie t-rex pretty cool and there we go the six arms are in so the next thing i need to add is the fire on the back it doesn't mention a flamethrower but i'm assuming it means in the decorations tab we have the flames right here so yeah let's go ahead and add that all right look at that that's cool but maybe go for this one yeah i don't know why there's fire on his back but I, I guess it is quite a cool effect i could add it like that and here i mean yeah I, I think that works i've also given him some glowing red eyes and i think our zombie t-rex is now ready so he is going up against the spinosaurus right here the carnotaurus and some velociraptors and just so you know i have increased the stats just a little bit on this guy so he will be a bit more powerful let's start the battle and see what happens shall we look at the fire go that looks really cool Ooh! oh they bit each other's mouths okay well that's great right he's now being surrounded the six arms are doing all the work right now as you can see oh he, he oh my goodness look at that he absolutely just destroyed a velociraptor all right, this zombie T-Rex is actually very, very powerful. Oh, look at it. Oh, no. <laughs> These Velociraptors are getting absolutely messed up. Spinosaurus and the Carnotaurus both putting up a pretty good fight right now. But I have a feeling that my T-Rex will win if he can actually get out of <laughs> the bite of that Spinosaurus right there. All right, that's it. Bite his leg. Yes. Bite his kneecaps off. Oh, we got a Velociraptor still alive. He is struggling, though. He must be hurt quite a Oh, he... He leaped into action there. Yeah, it seems like a lot of them are hurt and struggling right now. Oh, this is one epic fight, though, I have to say. And I've also just realized, I think that these dinosaurs also have increased stats. Why is he buying my butt like that? <laughs> so I think we actually might lose this one. Uh, oh, he's got my tail. Yeah, oh, it's fine. It's all bones anyway. Who cares? Okay, so uh, yeah, I think we might lose this one because I forgot to change the stats of the enemies. But I mean, if that is the case, we are still putting up a very, very good fight right now. All Velociraptors are down. Oh, we've made connection again with the Spinosaurus' mouth. I'm just nibbling away right now. Oh, but look, the Carnotaurus is down. We got it. Okay, cool. All that's left is the Spinosaurus. Oh, my neck is upside down, but you know what? I'm technically dead. So it's okay because, you know, we're a zombie. Yes. Come on, just go down, Spinosaurus. Just give up. You know you want to. Yes. Oh, we've got his mouth closed. No, don't attack me. That's my health. Oh, no, my health. No, my head fell off. Oh, no, we lost the battle. But you know what? We did an incredible job right there as a zombie T-Rex. Uh, yep, I... I did forget to change <laughs> the stats. No wonder they stayed alive for so long. And now the herbivores are getting involved as well. As you can see, we've also got a T-Rex over here. Of course, he's a carnivore, um, along with some other dinosaurs around the place. All of them just to take down the zombie T-Rex. All right, here we go. Let's see who wins this time. Oh, it's an ambush. We are surrounded big time right now. You know what? I have no idea who is going to win this fight, but they've all got their default stats. So yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens, I guess. Triceratops doing some uh, some work. Ooh. Oh, he's going out the map and he's gone. Okay, here comes the Brachiosaurus giving me some neck slaps by the looks of it. Uh, if we can push him out of the map. That would be good because he weighs a lot and has a lot of health to my knowledge. Oh, oh, look at the tail swipes. Oh, no! No! He's going down! Oh, his head's come off again. But anyway, on that note, I'm gonna end this one right here. There's another video on the top right, so make sure you go ahead and check that out. Also, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll hopefully see you in that video right there. Goodbye!